everyone who can hear me. We are hearing that Assad regime has brought most of his forces to destroy Ghouta. The people can defend themselves. Uh, the children are in danger of being murdered. Save the children of Ghouta before it's too late. I'm, I'm Noor from besieged Ghouta. Usually when you think of war or conflict coverages, the first thing that comes to your mind is professional war journalists. Well, today's cure for conflict topic defies this idea. Currently in Syria, it's children like in the case of Noor and Ala, who you just saw in the previous clip, who are doing that. These children are living in a country that has been in a constant civil war for more than eight years. The current civil war in Syria dates back to 2011, during the upspring that took place in many Arab countries and widely referred to as the Arab Spring. Hoping to follow the Tunisian and Egyptian examples, Syrian pro-democracy activists organized several protests to promote for a more democratic political system and a brighter economic future. Consequently, the president of Syria, Bashar al-Assad, responded in a very violent way, killing and imprisoning many protesters. Later on, rebel group armies were formed with the goal of overthrowing the government of Assad, which eventually led Syria to civil war. Foreign involvement also played a big role in the Syrian civil war. So depending on the religious branch, the political agenda and alliances, some countries or actors supported Assad's government, while others supported anti-Assad rebels. Some countries were also involved as a part of their effort to fight the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant also known as ISIL or ISIS. Many claim that after the peace talks that took place last January in the Black Sea city of Sochi, the war was nearly going to end. But the opposition bloc boycotted the conference, claiming that it was an attempt to undercut their efforts and the ones of the United Nations. Currently, the war is still taking place in Syria. In the city of Ghouta, located in southeastern Syria, People witness an escalated number of bombings by Syrian government forces backed by Russian warplanes. The phenomenon of children documenting the Syrian war all started last year, when a seven years old girl named Ban al Habit tweeted messages about bombing and deaths in Aleppo, a partially rebel held city in Syria. Her Twitter account later attracted more than 200,000 followers. With the support of her mother, who helped her manage her account, she also posted videos where she asks for the support of the international community. Other children proceeded to do the same, like in the case of the two sisters, Noor and Ala, and the teenager, Mohammed Najm. According to the UNICEF, Ghouta is now hell on earth for children. Therefore, the only way for those disparate children to reach the international community, including NGOs, the media, and people that can influence change, is through social media, especially Twitter and YouTube. While many people, including presidents, activists, and celebrities, supported the cause that made these children publicly express their despair of the war, many claim that their testimonies are rehearsed, biased, and meant to be used as propaganda tools against the Syrian and the Russian governments. Some media practitioners even argued that the inaccessibility of the location these children are reporting or posting content from makes the task of confirming or checking the accuracy of the information hard to achieve. It is true that fact-checking is hard to achieve. However, those children shouldn't be regarded as professional war reporters. Children their age in other parts of the world are safe, go to school, play, have fun, and first and foremost, never experience the violence and instability of being bombed on a daily basis. Hopefully, children like Bana, Noor, Ala, and Muhammad will live to see their country gain its stability again and won't feel the pressure of documenting the horrors of war anymore. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to all our social media accounts.